Hi everybody, hope you're having a great 2019 thus far. Jean back with more Mars news and anomalies. In this video I'm going to look at a possible link between NASA and the Elysium ruins of Mars. This will be in color as well. We'll be checking out photographs from the InSight lander, the Curiosity rover, as well as the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. Um, they show a particular interest in this area right here. We've got the Curiosity rover in Gale Crater, the InSight lander on the plains of Elysium, and uh, plenty of photographs from the MRO covering this area as well. So we'll be analyzing those. So the first photograph we're checking out was from Sol 14 taken by the IDC camera and uh, InSight lander photographed what looked like two small megalithic blocks not too far from the lander itself this is a zoomed in view and yeah, I've just corrected the color and uh, let's zoom in on this block over here rather poor resolution this photograph so this is the maximum amount of detail I can extract you can see a rectangular face over here another one towards this side with the 90 degree angle on either side this looks like a slightly rounded block as well and we've got another one of these uh, sort of tapered blocks it tapers up towards the top you can see the geometry and symmetry on this one side of here the other side going off to the right and then some strange artifacts on top of the surface there could be in the background so I'll be checking out, see if we can't get better photographs of these. Then from the Curiosity, the uh, photograph taken on Sol 618 shows also more of these uh, megalithic slabs and blocks. Check out the bevels on these. And there's another one of those tapered blocks, very similar to the one near the InSight lander. So let's zoom in on this. Not your average boulders or rocks. To get the straight edges, right angles. And then uh, we'll be analyzing one of the photographs I've covered in a previous video called Fractured Mesa in Elysium Planitia. I'll include the link below. And we'll be looking at um, <clears throat> the black and white map projector JP2 as well as the uh, color the RGB color there's that strip over there and uh, many of the anomalies that I showed in the previous video luckily are inside this strip there are others in the black and white area which we'll look at briefly as well there's a, a crop from the RGB color strip and uh, also very interesting color that NASA uses here and there in this color strip this blue color at the end of the video I'll show you I might have found uh, water seeping up to the surface so this area is located 1.33 degrees north, 168.83 degrees east. So it's on the equator, therefore I speculate the presence of water seeping through to the surface might be a possibility, probably is a possibility. We'll be checking out the anomalies in this narrow middle strip of there, and then some of the others We'll cover those briefly as well. 
So the first anomaly is right there. This is the uh, best sort of color I could extract from this particular photograph without it becoming too red. So let's have a look at those blocks close up. And they measure about 12 by 12 meters. See three blocks next to another in a row there. Straight edges, almost 90 degree angle in that one. To get the straight edge on this one and here as well. Narrow uh, megalithic slab or block over here, lying on its side. That could be a 90 degree angle as well, taken from a different angle. Another one of these blocks with a very smooth flat surface. This one's about 20 meters long. Another block over there, check out that straight edge. So, get the smooth surface, really straight edge on this one. And going off in that direction at a right angle, another straight edge. Now we're looking at strange anomaly. I don't know if this is a, a megalithic structure or feature or maybe some type of craft or technology that's about 5 meters or 6 meters across and about 15 meters long. If we zoom in on it, 6 meters in diameter, this strange narrower piece curving off in that direction to get the straight parallel edges on this. Not your standard boulder or rock. There's another one of these diamond shaped objects. This one's about 10 meters by 10 meters. Got multiple flat sides to it. Look how smooth this side is very, very reflective, almost like a polished surface. We're looking at uh, this anomaly towards the top, the left hand side there, which is about 20 meters long by about 8 meters wide. A rectangular part here. Parallel edges there, 90 degree angles to it as well, and then another piece coming off on this one side, and then some strange features here on the side, and in the middle what looks like a little protrusion as well, casting that shadow, and then a ridge line parallel to this side running through there side here seems to be slightly carved out and this rectangular piece sticking over the edge with that protrusion also looks rather artificial now we're looking at this massive square block measures about 15 meters long by about 12 meters wide it's almost a perfect cube. There's another partially buried cube there. So I check out the smooth flat surface on this side as well. Very reflective. Got some geometry and symmetry in this shape. We can see three of the sides here. And then in the center what looks like another protrusion or knob. And we're looking at uh, what could be metallic metal plates or debris up there. Never mind the other monoliths and megaliths in this area. It was rather unusual as well to see a piece like this. This is about uh, 10 meters long by about two and two and a half meters wide. Got straight edges running through this piece as well coming off at a 90 degree angle there, very narrow 
sort of metal plate almost. It does look as if it's very thin over here and then it sort of gets thicker towards the back. That could even be a little hole right there. And then this delta shaped piece over here, measuring about 6 meters per side. Got straight edges, looks as if it uh, curves down. An angle there, slightly raised. Could this be some type of wreckage or maybe an entranceway? Check out all these blocks. And this one over here, particular interest. This one's about, uh, let's see, 18 meters across by about 15 meters wide. And it looks as if it's got an opening on this one side of here. Get the straight line running through there, forming this side of the block here. Very straight edge on this side. We're looking at these blocks. This one's about uh, 6 by 8 meters. This one as well, two very similar blocks. This one shows a very reflective smooth surface. Straight edges. You can see this has been machined. The little step over here. It's got like a bevel to it. Now we're looking at this part. It's about 18 meters long. By about 8 meters wide. Also a straight edge. Got right angles over here. And also a longer piece coming off the one side. Similar to previous anomalies covered in this video. And then this little piece here with like an L shape to it. So it's very straight edges. It looks like a 90 degree angle there as well. We're looking at this block. Another one of these pyramidal diamond shape objects. This one's about 10 by 12 meters. These smooth flat surfaces on this. And then uh, there's some pattern in this design. Check that out. Coming to point over here. Okay, are we looking at this? What I speculate might be a structure consisting of multiple parts. It's about 15 meters wide. You got this piece. It's got like a V shape to it. Next to it, a rectangular block. And over here, miscellaneous features or parts. Looks like an elbow joint over there. These three similar sized and shaped protrusions there. Looking at these blocks of here, slightly smaller in size. These are about four by four meters. Similar to other blocks I found in other ruins on Mars. They get these large blocks and then these smaller ones. Makes me think there may have been. Uh, more than one civilization on the planet. One using these larger blocks and then one with these smaller blocks similar to the ruins in South America. We're looking at this anomaly down here, right hand corner. <coughs> this is about uh, 12 by 12 meters. Smooth flat surfaces. Relatively straight edges and then this dark line running through here that'd be a crack or um, sort of a groove cut into this block now we're looking at this almost triangular block which is about 12 by 12 meters but four sides some symmetry and geometry in this design as well 
the triangle square side over there very bright smooth reflective surface on this side yeah okay yeah we're looking at this part of like a plectrum shaped object about 12 by 12 meters also coming to a point down here similar to a previous one straight edge there and then two smaller sort of square openings with dark sides over here similar size and shape We're looking at this piece about 10 meters across and uh, this peculiar part over there with straight edges doesn't look at all like a natural boulder or rock. We're looking at this smaller block here, about uh, 6 by 4 meters. We can see two very flat, smooth surfaces. There's a nice corner, well-defined corner on it as well. Slightly carved in as well. Now we're looking at these anomalies. This one's about 3 by 3 meters, um, flat smooth surface there, and then uh, this side seems to be carved or machined in, this concave shape to it. And we're looking at these blocks. This one's about 12 meters long, this one's about 15 meters long. Get the strange arc to this side. With the part sticking off in that direction. And two similar size and shaped dark spots there. Could those be of carved in areas as well? And then right there in the center of this larger flat side we've got this strange anomaly as well. And then a smooth flat surface, very reflective of that one. It's another flat side over here. So it shows signs of erosion or destruction in the past. Another very smooth surface on that feature. It's about 12 to 15 meters long. So it comes up to a point. Let's see one of the other sides over here. We're looking at uh, this block, about uh, 10 meters across see three of the sides also straight edges smooth flat surfaces and that part up there about 15 meters tall and uh, two look like V shapes cut into the one side of here Okay, here we're looking at these smaller parts. This piece is about 10 meters long. Got straight edges to it, a rounded corner, 90 degrees there. It's a very narrow piece. Another, it looks like rectangular block up here. Two of these sides visible. Now we're looking at uh, another possible little ruin or structure. It's in this area here. Up close, you can see multiple layers, 
smaller blocks on top of this piece over here which looks almost like a metallic plate there's a dark spot in the center of this side and a dark spot over here in the center of that as if it's bent down at almost 90 degrees comes down and then folded back or is that uh, slot rather mechanical looking like parts of here check out this dome like structure maybe it's a type of a craft it's about uh, 8 meters across and about 12 meters long got a convex shape to it this V in the one side and in a flat circular protrusion or feature there right in the center line check that out this be a type of a crashed craft or another strange type of structure this looks almost like a sarcophagus <clears throat> not that it is check out the shape especially on this one side here yeah. this anomaly is about 12 meters long check out the straight edges here yeah. and then this looks as if it's been uh, carved out in that uh, rectangular shape there also this area here yeah. At the same level as that, same sort of color and shading, with this part being slightly raised by the looks of it. This disc is about 8 to 10 meters across, definitely concave in shape, and then uh, smaller right angled parts over here really unusual to see this almost uh, like a dish and that block over there measuring about six by six meters very smooth bright shiny surface to it it's almost if it's covered in some type of cement or plaster see that line running through there narrow white strip on the one side and they're not sure what's uh, buried over here under the sand and dust that this looks like a larger piece okay we're looking at uh, these anomalies here and uh, specifically this it looks almost like a rectangular pillow or column that measures about six meters long check that out and uh, this is also very unusual that little block in the center is about three meters wide and about four meters long and it looks as if it's part of this larger partially buried piece they're definitely sort of mounted to it or placed on top this area also seems to be slightly machined or carved out look at that uh, 90 degree angle there with these two straight edges and then this this takes the cake it's about uh, 14 meters across by about 16 meters high close up also a terrible resolution in this part of the photograph I wonder why um, we've got a very geometric and symmetrical object here 
don't know what this could have been. Maybe some type of hangar or structure or building. Part of an elaborate sculpture, perhaps. Check that out. Nothing like it in this photograph. And uh, I haven't discovered any other anomalies that looked like this in my previous research. Let's check out this piece. Also looks uh, mechanical. Maybe some wreckage. But also it seems to be covered in this white material. You can see the narrow strip running through that side. This be plaster or cement. Maybe this is uh, also part of a elaborate sculpture. And then this rather unusual object. It's about 10 meters wide by about 18 meters long. And uh, also, let's see if that could be hollowed out there a 90 degree angle to those two edges this ridge line running through here check out that also the cherry on the cake this is about 8 meters across 8 meters per side there very smooth surfaces, well-defined edges. So, a boulder or a rock? Definitely uh, doesn't look like it. More of them there. This piece is about 12 by 12 meters. Smooth, flat surfaces. Nice edges right angle there got this piece also looks as if this area on top has been machined or carved out ok here we're looking at this strange object about 12 by 15 meters an irregular narrow piece sticking off this side a little bit 90 degrees on the top of this surface we've got flattened dome like feature or protrusion so some geometry and symmetry in this shape now we're looking at uh, a megalith with a knob on it. This one's about 8 meters by 8 meters. You can see three sides. And uh, there we've got what looks like a little pyramidal feature or knob. Maybe even the top of a glyph. Okay, yeah, we're looking at these anomalies to the left, and uh, this one over here, it's about 15 meters tall by about 10 meters wide. Check it that, we've got uh, two flat surfaces, relatively intact edges over here, and then in the middle, of this larger partially buried piece got another protrusion knob there almost like a circular pattern around it and if you can see that in this huge block this is about uh, let's see 20 meters across <coughs> we've got a uh, smooth flat surface here almost uh, hexagonal shape we've got one two three four five visible sides ok 
Okay, here we're looking at this block. Also a smaller one, about five by four meters. Let's see two flat sides to it. 90 degree angle there. We've got these two rather artificial looking blocks over there. Is also massive, almost, uh, this one's almost 15 meters across. Got a arc to this one side. And then a rectangular piece on top of it. So some layering going on there as well. Now we're looking at this, almost what looks like a structure over there. And uh, this opening looks as if it's about uh, 5 by 5 by 5 meters. Check that out. That'd be an opening as well. And uh, another huge block. Ones over here. Measures about, this one's massive, almost 15 meters by 15 meters per side. Check on this smooth flat surface. We've got uh, what looks like a little 5 or an S with some uh, other rectangular narrower features or glyphs on it. Maybe that's just a JPEG artifact but it does look unusual see what looks like a 5 or an S inside a little border or frame over there. Okay, yeah, another one of these partially buried blocks. This one's about 10 meters to 12 meters long. With a small protrusion or knob there in the center. Measures about 2 meters across. Okay, yeah, we're looking at more smaller megalithic blocks over there. These are only about four meters across. So three next to one another there. Yeah, okay, we're looking at this sort of semi-circular object there, which measures about 12 meters across, around it, side to it. And in the center, this oblong protrusion or knob dome like feature. Now we're looking at that block, very similar to some of the others I've shown. This one's about uh, 5 by 5 meters, very bright, reflective surface there. Okay, are we looking at um, these anomalies to the top left of the screen? Particularly this piece. It's got this sort of square protrusion on this one side. And here we're looking at another L shaped part there with this corner carved away so it shows uh, signs of heavy erosion or some type of destructive force yeah we're looking at this cube over here measuring about six by six meters straight edges at right angle a little beveled on this one side and uh, what looks like a little circular hole there. Okay, we're looking at uh, more huge blocks. Check out this one. This one's about uh, 15 meters across. Uh, with two beveled parts to it. So could this have been a standing sort of pillow or column? 
Yeah, we're looking at this part. Also huge, 12 by about 18 meters. Also with the smaller part sticking off the one side. Smooth flat surface. You can see if this design is uh, quite common. This strange protrusion always on the one side. Okay, so in the black and white part of the photograph, I'm just going to show you some of the most striking anomalies I've found. These blocks over here, which you might be familiar with already. These are about 8 by 8 meters. And a larger block next to it. And on top, what looks like a little pyramid, this triangular block with a circular protrusion on the one side. This that what looks like a tombstone. Not that it is, but check out the strange shape. It's also about 10 meters by 8 meters. Got a rectangular part to it with two smaller rectangles on either side, 90 degree angles to it as well. More blocks. These are about uh, 4 by 5 meters each. This looks almost like a column or a pillar. Check at these straight edges, 90 degree angles and smooth surfaces on that. As if uh, that corner was carved away. Now we're looking at another L shaped object, about 8 by 12 meters. This side's about 8, this side about 12. Got a 90 degree angle to it and a 45 degree angle on that side. And it looks like an opening over here. Another one of these sort of pyramids. This one's uh, see about uh, 12 meters tall. It looks as if it might have toppled over. You can see uh, three of these sides. Smooth flat surface, very shiny on this side. Carved out area, yeah. Another one of these. Uh, diamond shaped objects with multiple sides to it which is about 12 by 12 meters 90 degree angle there another T shaped or L shaped object massive this is about uh, 20 by 20 meters with this straight edge running through the center forming a 90 degree angle with this piece up here. And then there as well, more irregular parts, straight edges, smooth flat surface, 90 degree angle over there, check that out. Also some odd parts of here. This one uh, has got an arc to it. 90 degree angle there. Very strange looking block as well. So let's check out these anomalies. We'll start with the inside lander. There's some of those blocks we had a look at. And uh, not too far south, we've got the Curiosity rover in Gale Crater, where we uh, photographed those blocks we had a look at. And then uh, Curiosity hasn't reached this area yet, but MRO's photographed what looked like uh, Peblon ruins in this area. And then uh, to the area where we found 
those megalithic blocks and also traces of water seeping up through the surface check that out it's almost like a UFO those blocks checked out in this video so let's see how far the sites are from one another It's about 338 kilometers between Insight Lander and Curiosity and uh, to where we found those blocks about 1700 kilometers. Very curious. So uh, could there be a link? Does NASA know about these? Check out that pyramid there this block over here it's a bit small I battled to zoom in on this one it's got um, nine smaller cubes in it there's a little arch so let's have a look at uh, some of the anomalies just to summarize the inside lander photographed small blocks MRO photographed these weird structures and megaliths in Elysium Planitia and Curiosity Rover photographed not far from there these um, megalithic blocks and slabs so very very interesting could there be a link does NASA know about these ruins so let me know in the comments below what you make of uh, these anomalies and a possible link to uh, these areas and NASA and do you think they might be aware of these anomalies and looking for further evidence of ancient civilizations on Mars? Thank you for watching. I'll be back soon with more. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye for now.